but we called it the Blackout Tour. And what we did, this is Gaz, me, mm-hmm. Dante, yeah. Devlin. We th- we we went to like Spencer Gifts. What a squad! <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's I know. crazy. I know. <laughs> you guys all Devlin, like have fun with it. Yeah, uh, you saw they did. They, there was a lot. It was <laughs> this went on forever. So how we, old were you? I was probably uh, like mid thirties, early thirties. This is the best the freaking adventure is team. If you're listening to this, then we know you know how to have a good time. And that's why we got the perfect drink to level up any occasion. Mm-hmm. I know it by heart by now, Bray. Mm-hmm. I sure do. Because it's a fun party. And it's a 10% ABV malt, malt beverage. beverage. What are the flavors? Bahama Mama, Sex on the Beach, Miami Vice, and Margarita. Margarita is my favorite. And mm-hmm. guess what? I gave this to a guy. I brought these. I went to a podcast the other day mm-hmm. and I brought all four flavors. Yeah. The guy tried it on air. Mm-hmm. By the end of it, he said, what the heck is in this? I'm feeling pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, of course. Off a one. Dude, it's all it takes. And dude. How much is it? Dude, two. Under two. Under two. Under two bucks, dude. It gets that's you bucks. fucked up. One dollar, two dollar. In this economy, that's great. That's eight quarters. Oh my God. That's literally eight quarters. Yeah. Or two you dollar might have coins. change. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dude. Let's get rich. So if you want to get yours today, you can go to drinkpiratewater.com or order it on GoPuff. Let's get into this DP show. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Bree Uncut. We have DP in the building. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is uh, my favorite guest. Ever? I've been dying to get this one Thank on. Thank you, O'Malley. <laughs> I, I, at walking in, I asked. I didn't really get totally the difference. Between BFFs? Yeah, since I feel like we're together a lot talking. So, But, but this is this yeah. is going to be about you. Okay. Mm-hmm. We kind of want to go down memory lane. Because people, our listeners, don't really know you. They just know you from BFFs. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't know anything about Barstool, like, the beginning really? of it. None like, of them? There's no crossover? I mean, there is. They but know pizza. They know BFFs. And yeah, you're the pizza guy that's... and the BFFs guy okay. to them. So yeah. we right. want them to know the real Dave Porton way. Okay, fine. Okay, so where do you want to begin with them? Because I, I know to, you want to know about him in I, high school. I'm dying. A young DP. <laughs> yep. What was life like? Were you cool? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, I was cool. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if I was cool. I was in, I was in the popular crowd. Okay. Um, I was probably the same. Like, I was in the popular crowd, sports and, like, the, the cool crowd. You yeah. playing sports in high school? Mm-hmm. What would you play? Uh, I played baseball. Uh, and that was pretty much the only one that I, I played like football, hockey and baseball. But the only one that lasted was baseball because my shoulder like blew up. Oh, mm. The shoulder. I was actually a pretty good athlete, surprisingly. Mm. People don't believe that, but I was. Okay. So mm. if you're an athlete, you're a cool person. I'd say so. Yeah, I was very funny. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, like class vice president. I, I yeah. Really? I was, vice yeah. president is usually a well, nerd I, ass. <laughs> What? A vice president is usually a nerd ass in high school. No, no. I My parents are like, you got to put something on your resume. I didn't want to do president because then it's like you have responsibility. Mm. So vice president could just slide by. So it was uh, my freshman, sophomore, junior year. Then senior year, I thought I, I was so like, I'm like, I don't have to show up for speeches. And I didn't. And mm. I lost uh, ah. senior year. Oh, but, fuck. Yeah. But you had it every other year? Mm-hmm. That's that's popularity. That's majority oh, yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. In... yeah, I was pretty. I was well liked. I think. Hmm, yeah. Did yeah. you have any nicknames? No, just port. People call that port? like short in the name. No one port. called you DP. No. <sighs> no port. I DP. love DP. Yeah. We call you DP. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I like the initials. That's my favorite <laughs> thing. It's to good. Do. Yeah, guys just generally go with the last name. I know. Mm. Well, yeah. she's O'Malley. Yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. My uh, my guy friends used to call me O'Malley and it used to piss me off, but I took I took the name back. Yeah, you did. It's mine anyways. Yeah. <laughs> it was yours to begin with. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like port. Yeah, port's, port's quick and easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did you go to college for? What did you study? So uh, I've told this story, but I applied. My sister went to Michigan, so I applied to Michigan. Um, I got a rejection letter from Michigan, but in a weird thing, they put in the letter like we've rejected you to the liberal arts school, but you've been accepted to the school of nursing. Um, What? Yeah, I don't know why. They're like, I think they want male nurses like Greg RN. Hmm. Uh, So I talked to my sister, and it's like, hey, if I go like to nursing can i just transfer out of the program she's like yeah once you're in the school it's free trans like they aren't like you can't go here once you're in so i went as a nurse so oh, my no first semester it's like all like girls at my orientation and stuff it was like wow yeah so did you have to do like biology was it your major no, it's like one semester of normal and then i just transferred out it was odd oh yeah because you're just doing gen eds anyways yeah, right you kind of beat the system there. yeah i i it was an end around okay so what did you want to go to school for though 
I had no idea. Uh, I debated either playing sports, like for a small school, um, or going to a big school. I chose the big, but I really didn't know. I, I ended up, I, I bounced around. Like I, so I went from nursing to liberal arts. Then I couldn't pass my language. Like mm -hmm. I, you may be surprised, but I'm not good at pronouncing <laughs> stuff. And I just couldn't do it. So, and you needed a language in uh, liberal arts. So then I was like, where can I graduate without that education? Mm -hmm. So I was like a student teacher my senior year. Like I'd wake up and go to a pioneer high school in Michigan. And I like, it was odd because I had seniors and I was in college. So they're like, like the very close age. in age. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I graduated with an education degree. Is, and really? then you had that degree and were you like, I do I want to do this? Oh, I knew I wasn't. No, I no. had no desire to teach. Not so that. then how do you pivot? Uh, well, the economy was great when I graduated. I just got a sales job. I could like sales oh. job. You need no skills. Yeah. That's just like a people thing. And so then, I got a job. Um all Indians, like um, literally like from India. Uh, I was the only one who spoke English and it was like cold calling, just trying to sell software. So oh. They put a yellow pages in front of me and I did that for about a year. Then I had another sales job for about five years and then I started Barstool. Five, you had a sales job for five years? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. great. Is that miserable? Yes. But the cold calls, calling? the cold calls, did you ever try to like have fun with it? No. No. It was miserable. Mm. And then, then what made you be like, I'm going to start Barstool? I How do you always even wanted that? to try my own company. Yeah. Like, so it wasn't, I actually had like a bunch of different ideas. Um, and I thought Barstool was the most realistic mm -hmm. that I could try to get off the ground. So it wasn't like, oh my God, I have this genius idea of Barstool. Barstool was really nothing like what it is now. Yeah. Um, but I had to choose one. I went with it. So mm. that's what I did. So I prepared for it for uh, like a year before I started the newspaper. Oh, okay. Well, it was a newspaper. It was a four page, like I've told the story, but four page black and white. I used to hand it out outside the streets mm. of Boston, really gambling. That's what it was. It was yeah. a, like gambling newsletter for lack of better words. How'd you come up with the name Barstool? So there was a million different um, concepts. And I, the internet was sort of starting. So it's like, all right, which one marked with like a uh, available URL. Oh, and okay. And stool was supposed to mean anything that a guy would talk about on a bar watching a game. Oh, like bar right. stool sports. I never knew. I yeah. really yeah. poor ass. Yeah, so it's like, what, what do you talk with your buddies at a bar Wait, about? that's sick. No, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we actually tried to shorten it and drop the sports out of it for years to just call it bar stool mm -hmm. and I couldn't get the domain, so we oh. couldn't do it. Yeah. That's crazy. Who the fuck has the domain? It was this dude who claims that he asked to come to an early bar stool party and I ignored him. Yeah, and then shit. out of spite, he's like, I'm never giving you the name. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Did you try, try to, to like buy it, it from him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He holds a grudge like you. Yeah. But then it got to the point. It didn't even matter. People knew us. But yeah. in, in the early days, it really did because people were typing it. You had to go to the URL. Mm -hmm. So bar stool is so much easier than bar stool sports. Oh, yeah. And we, it, people would just assume this is just sports and it never really it was in the beginning, but it morphed pretty quickly. So Barstool would have been more apropos. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Because when it first started, too, it was like the smoke shows and stuff. Yeah. Like it that, was that came in probably in about a year. We would do like what we called, uh, we had in the newspaper a smoke smoke show of the day contest. Two local girls, we ask them questions, you vote, they get a hundred bucks, they move on to the next week. It was like sponsored by Miller Lite. Um, that's a pretty decent sponsor at the time. Yeah. You remember, we didn't have the website. When yeah, I yeah. It was strictly newspaper. And then it moved to, um, well, what happened was I put Jessica Beale on the cover of the newspaper, wildly illegal. Like we yeah. clipped a photo. <laughs> um, or maybe it was Lohan. It was, I think it was maybe Lohan. It was an article about Mean Girls, I think the movie or something. And people like kind of paid attention to the girl and a local photographer, Eric Levin, reached out. He's like, hey, have you ever thought of like doing Maxim style, like putting oh, girls? Yeah. And I'm like, no. And he's like, well, I'll shoot it for you. I'll do a photography. And we start doing that. So oh, it became like every two weeks we'd have a local girl from Boston. And uh, did they like apply to be smoke shows or do you guys yes. went off? Okay. For, so for the smoke show of the day. Well, there's two things. 
the smoke show of the day, which became really, really popular, but mm-hmm. that was when we were, that was internet based. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And those would, they started slowly, but by the end, those are everywhere. And Dude, it helped us grow. I remember those in college. It was huge. Everyone always wanted to be a bar. Yeah, so and, smoke and, show. And um, we I get, wanted to so bad. <laughs> we get permission. Like yeah. that was one of the things. So girls, girls generally didn't nominate themselves, but their friends would, guys would. And then we'd reach mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. and be like, hey, are you cool with it? And we just pluck the pictures from their profile. Oh, okay. Not yeah. gonna lie, people are still like that's their title. Like we met a girl at a bar recently, oh, and she, she was, was like saying that was her claim to fame. That like, she was like, meet <laughs> girls now, and it's like they got like five kids, and it's like because we've been doing it for so long, and it's morphed. Like I used to do them all myself, mm-hmm. then Gaz did it. Mm-hmm. Um, Tommy Smokes, that's how he has his nickname. Yeah, mm-hmm. Tommy yeah. Smokes. <laughs> he was the he was doing the smoke show guy, so it's like Tommy Smokes. I don't even know how who does it now, and it definitely changed because when we did it in the beginning like instagram this is going to date us instagram didn't exist yeah mm-hmm. so there weren't professional like instagram models and girls making livings they mm-hmm. were truly just like local girls the who hotties were, yeah they, they weren't <laughs> doing it was just taking their pictures from their facebook um but they weren't like a lot of girls now are i don't want to say pros but they're making a living off of it mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. being hot yeah correct that yeah. wasn't the case they were just normal everyday girls. Sales everybody jobs, wants their five seconds of fame yeah right honestly yeah. and we went through the thing where at first people were like what is this and then it became so big in the boston area it was actually no one was like oh that's weird you're a smoke show it was mm. like oh congrats you're a you're smoke, a smoke show. show right yeah, yeah. that's like, crazy i think, I, I think I i've seen you somewhere are you a smoke show but like i people debate this i always take credit for things but what are you talking about it's like smoke show is not used for a girl till me Mm, like, really yes like i i guess i wouldn't know i just know it from you i was a miami hurricane football fan growing up mm-hmm. and what they do is they run out of this tunnel with smoke everywhere and i'm like that's so cool <laughs> it's like a smoke show you see the smoke and they just come out that's where i came up with it so anyone who's like no you didn't invent it yes i did because that's where it came from and then it just became part of like the lexicon smoke show the word smoke show yeah for in, you in, coined that yes for like describing like oh smoke show pretty girl yes 100 percent. smoke show wow yeah yeah because you have that trademarked <laughs> for a businessman Erica like yourself May, i don't know it, <laughs> probably not because we didn't like even trademark like barstool till way after <laughs> we weren't like really thinking <laughs> okay, so it was that's where it started with like sports and then smoke show stuff. And then what how did it start evolving into what it is now? We just started taking articles and writing and and it became more lifestyle brand. When I would write about my life, people become more interested like that resonated. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the articles that we got just started covering anything like mm-hmm. uh, it could be about. I remember there's layoffs in State Street Bank in Boston that people resonated. And but, it would be you writing like your opinion about them? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just be stories and and so it was newspaper, newspaper, newspaper. I handed the newspaper. So I would wake up like four in the morning, five in the morning every day and I hand the newspaper out outside mm-hmm. subway stations in Boston. And I handed it to a guy who kept taking it. And he one day he he because I handed it to him. He's like, I'm moving to New York. I love the newspaper. Um, I'm not going to be able to read it. If I build you a website, like, would you use it? I was like, yeah, knock yourself out if oh, you're going to do it. Really? So he built Barstool Sports. Oh, shit. And that is when and he didn't charge me or nothing. And we started putting the PDF in the newspaper. Mm-hmm. And then he made it so I could just start writing whenever oh, I felt like. What so, a game changer. Yeah. And that wow. did change kind of everything. Do you oh, wow. keep in touch with this man? His name's Ian White. We have. I tried to rehire him when we were bought, but he That's had a good crazy. job. Ironically, he was like the chief technology officer at one time for Business Insider. Oh, oh no, shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So uh, every once in a while we'll touch base, but without him, we wouldn't be here. No doubt. Wow. That's insane. Where the fuck did you find Dan and Kevin? So before Dan and Kevin, I had four other guys. Okay. Like, and they wrote in the newspaper and they were great. Mm-hmm. Great. But I couldn't pay them. And the the timing of them, they're like, we can't, they were doing it for years. Like, we can't keep doing this and not getting paid. We have real jobs. Yeah. They they swapped out and then Barstool started picking up. But I just said <laughs> we were hiring. They were fans. Yeah. So mm-hmm. like oh. Dan used to call into like my first I had this thing, blog talk radio, Mm -hmm. where I could do like a a radio show, early internet, and he was a caller on it. That's pretty funny. Blog talk radio is now the nuanced podcast. Yeah. Like that's exactly what you would do it. Yeah. It's a podcast, but yeah, calling it, was, it something different. Yeah, yeah, it was like me, Elio, who still we do stuff. We talk like gambling. Elio, he'd be like, there's a big cat from Chicago. <laughs> so he's like the early calls. Um, same, Kevin was a fan. So Barstool picked up a little bit. 
And I, I was like, maybe if I can recreate Boston and other cities, mm -hmm. like who knows what happens. So I said, I'm looking for somebody in New York, Chicago, and they just applied because oh, they were famous. Wow. Yeah. How far into it did people start caring about your own personal life? Because that's yeah, rare. That, it, it was probably once we got the random thought. Well, we call it the random thoughts. So I used to send a newsletter of random thoughts. That's mm -hmm. literally what it was called. But once we had the website, I could like talk a lot more. Yeah. And like, start posting pictures and things like that. That's when it is. But that resonated right away. Mm. It became obvious that people were more interested in myself and then the other guys the than anything right? else. It, it became very obvious. The personality aspect of it was what was resonated. Like I never, I started as a business because mm -hmm. I didn't want to do sales my whole life. Mm. But it wasn't, I, I, the original newspaper had like 30 different aliases for me. I never said who my name oh, was. Really? Like, I didn't expect me to be like a personality. I was never the goal. Because that's not a thing when it comes to a newspaper. Like right. when you read an yeah. article, you're reading it to read it. You don't really care Correct. about Back the Back then there writer. wasn't like internet personalities. Right. Yeah. It didn't exist. It was, but when I, when the more personal stories always just resonate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it, we just followed what was working. Do oh, you shit. remember the first time you got recognized? No, um, not a specific example. No, no, no. I, I know like it would be sparse and then it started being a lot. I'm trying to think the first time maybe I was like, holy shit, I got recognized. Yeah, but was there like a, whoa, I'm fucking famous moment? No, because it's so it's gradual, yeah. gradual. Yeah, it, it, it. We've been doing it for 20 years now and we never had like, oh my God, like we talk on BFF where like the, the TikTok, like they just, ch yeah. like Charlie or oh, something. Right. Yeah. That never happened. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, because it you're just working more, towards it. Yeah. It's just more from like, okay, I know now it was more, I guess to the point, I just know now it's like 100% of the time. Like no matter where I go, anywhere outside, there's going to be people come up and say so, hello. Yeah. 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 Or That's yell. one of my questions is, uh, do you have a worst fan interaction? There's been there's been a few. They don't happen as much as you'd expect. Um, I also guess it wouldn't be a fan. Yeah, rather people a like hater. People yeah, haters. say shit to you like rudely out occasionally. And about. Occasionally, how do you take that? I'm pretty good in confrontation. Mm. So yeah, you're a words guy. Yeah, yeah, and it's like I don't back down, and I think it a lot. I'd say 75% they run away. So mm. it's before even there was one time we were at a, like a club. I remember um, this wasn't too far ago and we had pizza and Silvana was sitting to my left. I was to the right. The girl asked for pizza, pizza. Mm -hmm. We gave it to her. And then I, she must've noticed me, the girl. And she asked Silvana if she needed help. She's like, are you okay? Do you need help? What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, what are you talking about? The girl hated me when and then I, 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 fucking ripped the slice out of her hand. I'm like, fuck you. You don't get a slice. You don't get to eat. She threw in an absolute tantrum, got kicked out of the club, told the cops I tried to make out with her. What? Oh, God. Yeah. She was crazy. Did they believe her? No. No, no, no. Um, she wasted? Yeah, she was wasted. Yeah, there's some that get in. in it, it's very rare. The amount of people who don't like me online um, or who will say that, I'd say it's 99.9% .9 overwhelmingly positive yeah. in, in person. Yeah. It's, there's not really a lot of haters in real life. No, there's there aren't. cowardly. Yeah. And they, yeah. if they are, they don't really come up. Um, and when they do, they really don't know what the fuck they're talking about generally, which is, I've always been like, I'll ask them, like, I'm calm. Like what, like we saw that you saw, there's a video of, um, well, there's two, there's the dragon pizza person. Yeah. And then there's like the, yeah, he didn't even know what he was mad about. Right. Oh. And you ask, and there are examples, they're not true, but you should be, if you hate me that much, you should yeah. have a reason. Mm. Um, there's that other pizza review. She's it, who called me ugly. She's like one bite you're ugly or something <laughs> that like that. Sick. Yeah. yeah. That was good. And for me, I'm such a content brain. Yeah. Like I'm like, Oh, this is good. Like, yeah. I can use it. Views. Um, yeah. But it, there's nothing been like too too crazy uh for me lately where i'm like oh man this is you know i i deal with wackos on the political side you get a little bit nervous because people are so fucking yeah. crazy yeah. but no nothing too bad I'm when you go at it with people though it's so it's so awesome because it's so boston it's yeah. like that it's like yeah. that boston edge you're like no fuck you no fuck you yeah, it's just awesome yeah. that's my personality i think that's what's like built the brand and and 
I don't take things overly personal. I'm vindictive sit clearly, but you know, that's always, I've always been like that. It's just who I am. Yeah. yeah. I counted. You have 29 enemies. On that Total. list? On that list. On the hate list? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, there's more. I have more. <laughs> I have the list still. It's going to be updated. Um, I thought I had more than that. Uh, well, there's, <laughs> I would say 30, but uh, I, I didn't count one. It was 99.9% of politicians. It's kind of like a broad idea, <laughs> oh, not rather yeah, a yeah, person yeah, yeah, yeah. or a thing. I, yeah. yeah, I thought I had more. Yeah. There's I a mean, building on that list. <laughs> no, I'm still building on the list. Are, they, are your enemies just people that do you wrong or just people you fucking hate? Or mix. Generally, they do me wrong. Mm, okay. Generally, but they're not. It's not always that. It can vary, and some are certainly deeper than others. Um, so it can vary. It really can vary. But could be- you check someone off? Like, could someone come back off of your enemy I think list? It's very rare. To or come once off. they're on, they're yeah, on. Yeah, I think you're pretty much on. Mm. I, I. You don't believe in second chances. Eesh. I always say when you're dead to me, it's like that's. It's for life. Like I feel the yeah. same way. It's kind of like a boss. Because you have to do a lot to, to get, get on, on that list. Yeah, that's like, true. A lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's uh Quick commercial break for Soka. We're back on tour this fall for our live show tour with our friends at Southern Comfort, and we're happy to go from a rave to a kickback. I love when you're a newscaster. Thank you very much. It's pretty cool. I love reading the news. I know you and do. also these ads. <laughs> and you know what I love more? What? Soko. I love it so much. You know what even ups the ante on Soko? Soko sour. One part Soko. Two parts sour. <laughs> it's fucking good. It really is. Dude, it rips. It doesn't even taste like alcohol. Might I say it's like a green tea shot? It is, but better. Yeah, really, truly, it doesn't burn as bad. Yeah, it's a, there's because you, you know what you're getting. Sometimes when you get a green tea shot, it's like you're going to... Mm, yeah. Actually, I'm pretty hungover thinking about it. Yeah, but that's thinking about a not Soko what sour it is. Shot, I'm not going to throw up. I'm going to have a good night. Me fucking too. All right. I'm going to have fucking 12 of those. I can, yeah, dude. At a kickback, chilling. <laughs> yeah, you know, from a rave to a kickback. Yeah. A couple of Soko showers. 20. It's a great night. It sure damn straight is. All right, let's get back to the show. That's one of the, I also don't, there's some, it, you really, it really has to be personal. Like just saying some stuff doesn't even bother me anymore. Um, like people, yeah, I, I can. the ringer. Yeah, I can predict who's not going to like me before they yeah. don't like me. That mm-hmm. doesn't really do much. Like, if you're trying to destroy my life, that makes me really fucking hate your guts. Fair yeah. enough. That's yeah, really yeah. I'd say so. <laughs> um, I think the people listening, like our, our viewers, I don't think they know that you have champagne bottles that you will uh, pop when yeah. someone oh, yeah. who's done, someone on the I, list. They're uh, not just champagne. I engrave their names on the champagne mm-hmm. bottles. Oh, yes, that's yeah. right. So they have their own <laughs> champagne bottle with their name on it. And I wait for their life to fall apart. Uh, and if it does, I will celebrate <laughs> publicly. And it's like I do things like I can't control myself. Like HBO did a special on us. Um, and it was not nice, Uh-oh. which nobody ever does anything. And it's, you know, they're like, everyone's telling me, like, don't show them the champagne bottles. Don't show them, like, don't. They'll twist it. And it's like, I'm fidgeting. He's like, want to see the champagne bottles? <laughs> it's like I, got the, I got the yeah. champagne bottles. It's like, I just can't control it because I think it's, like, funny. And it's like, oh, here it is. But it yeah. is funny. Yeah, I know. People, people take things too seriously. Yeah, right. It's so. hilarious. It's not like you're going to kill the people yeah. and shoot them. And, and I and I stand by this. I don't pick fights. I do not. Like, I, it, it drives me crazy when people get mad at me they're like oh you're you're sicking people you're attacking it's like they are attacking me non-stop yeah. you're just supposed to sit there and like eat it yeah you know? so that drives me crazy and i don't and, and people at barstool disagree like i know like the pft and dan they're more like calm they're mm. like just let it go it'll go it's like i i fucking can't yeah, like, i, I just can't and you like even us we we will like beat around the bush we won't really say how we feel about certain people because we're like kind of scared of the reaction on the pod but you just say yeah whatever you feel and yeah. i think that's why people are think you're crazy yeah you're just honest yeah yeah especially if people are coming <laughs> coming for your ass you're gonna you're gonna retaliate totally. you're gonna stand up for yourself that's what yeah. you're taught at school and they're not coming after they they're not gently like lately the people who have come after me are really trying to like ruin your me, life. Ruin Barcel. They're not like gloves off. They're gloves and and it's bullshit. It's 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 just crazy. Like I, I've some of the things like the New York Times, the last article. I knew the reporter. What was the last one? It, I don't know what it was supposed to be on. I think it was supposed to just try to like it's a me too. I don't know what the fuck it oh, was. Okay, but they, it didn't end up having anything to do with that because there's nothing there. So yeah. they went through 
quite literally every single person I was connected to on social media and mm -hmm. called. I don't even know how they got the numbers. Everybody. And like I had people sending me recorded conversations with the reporter and it's just so fucking devious. Um, like like friends and they would like reach out yeah, to them. Yeah, or not yours. even friends. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I had like a girl who I'd never hung out with, never talked to, like maybe we traded one message. She's like, why am I getting this? And she's like, do you want me to record it for you? I will. And she's asking all these questions. But then on the flip side, they're trying to get this stuff. Like, no reporter has ever reached out to like my ex-wife Renee. None. Mm, really? None. Not one. And I, she probably knows me better than anybody. It's yeah, like yeah. I, we, we dated five years or married five years. We're still best friends. Not one reporter has ever asked her like about me, which is crazy. That's not crazy. Yeah. It's like what if you are trying to actually because they don't no, want to talk to anybody that actually knows you. Yeah. Have anybody reached out to you about Never. Me? No. Exactly. No. They'll reach out to every woman in the world. But except the ones who actually know me. Yeah. It's crazy. That's, wow. Yeah, that's wild. Because they don't, they can be, it's harder to plead, hey, I didn't know that, or ignorant, or dumb, if people are saying, well, that's not true, or that's not true, mm -hmm. or well, I don't think so. They just don't want the other side of the story. They only want to talk to people who potentially would say shitty things about me. Which so isn't just fair journalism. I no. wonder how long, like, that took them. Like, how much time they put into those. A year. That's I was insane. getting caught. I was getting emails, DMs for a year. So it, it, it's like a little bit. And then you go back even, I don't want to go deep, but like they don't say anything. Like the first business insider, like, well, Sophia Franklin and Mooj, mm. like Milfon, they were the ones who connected the girl. She, he was. So it's, it's not fair to ha have your enemies connect. Correct. It's to just be like, like well, obviously right, it's going to be a yeah. war path. Like where is the source coming from? It, it, Gotta be fair in some sense. Yeah, or say where it is. Like yeah. they fucking hate my guts. Of There's course. like <laughs> unbelievable bad blood there. Yeah. yeah. So it is what it and is. And they just know what they're writing already. Yeah. So they're just yeah. they're not gonna ask. Exactly. Yeah. They, they they have their story and then they just try to find the facts and find the narrative. So those people, to bring it full circle, I truly despise. Mm. Yeah, because that's evil. Yeah. They're just they trying to, to ruin it's your like, life. I, I've tried a million. It's like, I will sit down and talk about, answer any question you have, as long as we can record it. So you can't twist it and they will not yeah, do you it. You have one yeah. rule, just yeah. you want to be able yeah, to record it. I just it. want it because I've seen what has happened when it's like. And that should speak volumes to everyone being like, they won't let me do it because they're going to twist it and I can't record oh, it. That yeah. just shows like, that they're going to twist an it. Old, and I wouldn't make the joke again, but I'm sure you guys have heard it about me, but it, it is the Dave basically condones rape. It's a size, size six, six skinny thing, jean. Yeah. That is the first time I learned about that because I did a like two hour inside edition interview. And How did you end up on that? Yeah. They... <laughs> It, I never in a freaking like, why were you, What time, was going on? That meant I was ready. For, that meant I was ready for war. That back and then, <laughs> my thing was if you see me in the cross pennies. Older then. Yeah. All right. So there's you a bunch of things. The, the cross pennies, a basketball team, a lacrosse team reached out. They're like, "Hey, will you support us uh, and buy our jerseys for this league?" Is like, "Fuck it, fine." So, I don't even know where to start. There's so many, <laughs> I went, I had no money. I went to buy a bathing suit. I was taking my first vacation that I ever was able to afford with Barstool. And where are uh, you going? Uh, St. Martin. And let's go. It's pretty decent. What is the faint? There's a expensive um, bathing suit store for men. Tommy Bahama. No, no <laughs> more expensive than that. It's um, a French brand. No, I whatever can't. it is. Lay on these. I went in. I'm like, I have nothing. Yes. I need to go get a bathing suit. They had a purple starfish bathing suit. I, I didn't look at the price. I brought it to the register and they're like, it's 400 bucks. I was like, oh, I can't afford $400. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. But the <laughs> register lady's like looking at me. I'm like, I'm not fucking putting this away. Like, yeah. I can't afford you can't, it. You gotta yeah. get a $400 yeah. trunk. Yeah. So I just put it on like a credit card. I was like, this is gonna take me forever to pay back for it. <laughs> and I blogged the story about how like I was not gonna be intimidated from buying it. Mm -hmm. And then Purple Starfish became a brand. We started selling Purple Starfish yeah, apparel. Yeah. That's where that came from. From the bathing oh, that's suit? From the bathing suit story. I never knew what yeah. it came what from. A, what a coming of age story. I was trying story. to ask Kelly Keegs that, uh, and she was like, I don't know. I yeah, like, that's where it came from. So Purple Starfish became like kind of a logo, kind of like mm -hmm. a, a side brand. So back to this lacrosse team was like, hey, will you sponsor our jerseys? I'm like, if I can de design them, yeah. We sent them the purple starfish shit. Mm -hmm. Or we got them. And he's like, hey, this. I'm sorry to do this to you. The league collapsed. 
So there's no, we don't, we don't oh. need the jersey. Oh, so I had like 21 of them or something like that. And I'm like, fuck it. What am I going to do? We sold them one by one on eBay. They went for like five grand each. What? Like people Pardon? were crazy for them. Really? At the time of, at the time of the, when, when yeah. was this? Are these them? The, uh, those are the second version. Oh, like okay. what I'm wearing in the right is so we continue to do it. <laughs> what I'm wearing that interview, yeah, that's that's yeah. a newer version of it. The <laughs> the Viva La Stool is version two. I think number twenty three is version one. Oh my god! And number two, yeah. Wait, because so Barstool was like pretty. If they're selling for five grand, it was pretty big. We we just had a fanatical fanatical. Oh my god! Oh my god. I gotta get yeah. me one of those. That yeah. is insane. You are insane, caveman. Yeah, it's like you're in the Croods. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you, you go to tell your mom I just threw up. Because there, there yeah. weren't there weren't many of them. Like yeah. you, there was only like twenty. So this is ready for war. Yeah. So when I <laughs> wore stance. that, it became if I'm wearing that, that means I know I'm about to go into a war. Our fans knew that okay so, you should run that back <laughs> right yeah so, business meetings we did I can't believe that's the same guy yeah we, we <laughs> did uh we did something called the blackout tour and that's what that so the blackout tour there's so much stuff but <laughs> dra- fantasy sports just started mm-hmm. it was the infancy it's like the companies that are now DraftKings and FanDuel yeah. we were working with when they started and nobody knew what fantasy sports really was and draft this company draft street they're like we want to go to frats sunday morning before the nfl starts and tell them about our product so they sign up and play it mm-hmm. and we're like all right how the fuck do we do that and we came up with a concept if a frat would uh, if a frat would let would sit Sunday morning and let them do their business pitch, we will throw a party at your frat Saturday night. Oh, what a good tit for tat. So and for <laughs> free. And yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, no. So we're like, what the fuck do we do? We called it the blackout tour. This is what, for DraftKings. Yep. And what we did, this is Gaz, me, mm-hmm. Dante, yeah. Devlin. We th- we we went to like Spencer Gifts. What a squad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was I know. crazy. I know. Did you guys all Devlin, like have fun with it? Yeah, uh, you saw they did. They, there was a lot. It was this went on forever. So <laughs> how we, old were you? I was probably uh, like mid thirties, early thirties. <laughs> this is that's the freaking team. Yeah, it was two thousand and ten, so fourteen years. Like Thirty two. Yeah. You're showing up in the penny like yeah, this. So we went to like Spencer Gifts and bought like ten black lights, mm-hmm. and that's what it was. It was the black. So, so the logo was a, a light going into a socket, and it's like let's just go. We'll do a black. Everyone wear white. We'll do a party. It's working. It was okay. It was. We, I remember we went to Clemson. There's a video of me like spraying a like logo on a truck the frat logo and it was okay and then we went to iowa and did it in like a bar and they had co2 in the bar mm-hmm. people went crazy when they saw CH- co2, CO2 in it like, oh, like, yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden everybody won the blackout tour and we went from doing frats till we were renting out like arenas and it's crazy it was, the, it, it was like i there's just a have you ever heard of bamboozle Mm-hmm. It's a concert in New Jersey. No, it's like a festival. Okay. Um, and Live Nation called and like we want the Blackout Tour to close for Bon Jovi. That's huge. What? Yeah, that's huge. And they're like well, for Bon Jovi. Yeah, and they're like we'll pay you three hundred. What were you guys doing? <laughs> like what the fuck? It, well, how did you sell this? Come we, like. <laughs> Was this it? <laughs> There's videos of it everywhere. So were you guys just on stage? Like no, we ran the tightest on ship stage. So Dante was the DJ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. EDM was just starting. Okay. Yeah. So we we're playing other people's EDM music. Yeah. Like, um, like we had you guys are gonna be like, what? Like we had a VG like at ours. Oh, that's like a VG performs the blackout show show for like 10 bucks. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? I gotta say, you yeah. had the best lineup of all time at the UMass one. It was Friggin uh, Mike po- uh, Mike Posner, Mac Miller, Wale, Sammy Adams, Sam Adams, I think. Adams dude, yeah, the things dude, I do. Y- y- you yeah. kidding me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we went Mac Miller fifteen hundred bucks. That's crazy, yeah. crazy. Like, he was just fuck? on tour with us, like hanging out. Um, because you know Did what you guys else we along? were? Yeah, he was super nice. Yeah, we were ahead of the rest of the world because Barcelona had become college there was nothing else like yeah. we were everywhere so we're like hey who, who are you guys listening to and they're like mm-hmm. this guy this guy this guy we're like you guys want to come with us like fuck yeah <laughs> so it was before the rest of the world knew it was like they hadn't blown they had blown up but 
no one had caught up to them yet. Yeah. So, I think Sammy Adams made a song about the blow up. Yeah. He probably wrote it on the yeah. thoughts with Sam you guys. Adams, nobody knew who the fuck he was when we did it. Um, I don't think they do anymore. Yeah. <laughs> he got stuck in college. Yeah. 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 He couldn't get his way out. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, see the crew right there? That's good. Wow. Like, Is that gas? Yeah. In the sideways they have mascots. And we kept wow. reinvesting in the fucking thing. It, it, That's like, crazy. We had like gronk dancing in costumes then it's like how do we up the ante we turned it to a foam party people are drowning oh, drowning parties get a little nuts yeah. yeah drowning um <laughs> like the, if you sh- google fucking foam party so did youtube you, did i filmed the whole youtube gas is too busy i was in the foam <laughs> with like a fucking camera like getting it all so uh, it was work for you it wasn't it wasn't play. Oh, it was work yeah a hundred percent work it it we tried to replicate it. It gets to be a lot. It's too much. <laughs> this is us. We were doing this you gotta be three days me. a week, oh, every dude. fucking day. Oh, my God. You walk away soaping, sucking wet. Did you go through a lot of cameras with all this foam? <laughs> yeah, we just, people were drowning in the foam. We didn't know. Dude, foam we, is so fucked. You really do drown. We had this guy from Alaska who I hired who built us custom foam cannons. Oh, my it God. Was, Illegally? They probably were they so were not. They were probably illegal. Oh, and, my and, God. Viva La Soul, dude. This is wild. This is yeah. wild. And these videos went like hard. <laughs> like, yeah, because we were... there was nothing like it. Yeah, exactly. And then, I feel like so many things got created off of this, like recreated, like rave parties, yeah. the phone parties. This is insane. So, so we would sell these out. <laughs> That's an insane shirt. I love freshmen. <laughs> in 30 seconds, like you couldn't. Oh my God. I mean, we could go to do like, we like, we sold out House of Blues in Boston uh seven shows in 30 seconds how like, did you say, were, were venues like oh, what we don't want you here that After. eventually started happening mm, right you had a to. reputation for a, yeah, but throwing we paid a sick for parties cleaning and everything yeah well yes <laughs> and that was too much a reputation to have that well we <laughs> had news crews by the end following us like abc yeah. would just be following gaz then he called me at like three in the morning <laughs> be like they shut, no, they, they shut down the party it got out of control <laughs> it, yeah how it, did it end a bunch of things happened. The parties, at first, we were the only ones doing EDM. Yeah. And then it went from, so there'd be one EDM party at your school every six months to, we were there, Avicii was there the next day, Zed was there the next day, and it's like, well, they're actually doing their own music. (laughs) And all these other tours, some went wrong, there was no face to it. Mm -hmm. I became, if something happened bad at EDC in Vegas, I got blamed. If Um, something happened anywhere with, it was the drug problems, (laughs) Dave Portnoy, it became. Handing out Molly. Like you would feed in the kids' Molly. Yeah. 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 But he's just in the crowd with the camera. (laughs) With his penny on. A group at Northeastern who hated my guts, and this all comes full circle, they said. A group of like kids? Girls at Northeastern. Okay. And they're like, we do not want Barstool coming to. So what we did at House of Blues Boston, we said Monday is BC, Tuesday is Northeastern, three is oh, Curry. Gotcha. And oh. they'd sell their school out in a second. Yeah, that's awesome. So BU sold out in a second. Group of girls at BU are like, you know what the blackout tour is? They're just trying to get girls to black out and then like sexually assault them. Oh, just oh that's taking the name Blate, yeah, and just right. twisting it. And they were. If anything, Gaz was the one blacked out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is where the size six thing came from. All right, guys, quick commercial break. All right, I was a fucking idiot. Yesterday, we had to record Plan Brie at 9 a.m., so we all came into the office at 9 a.m. Real early. Because I thought I had a hair appointment at 11 a.m. Mm-hmm. All right, so we all woke up super fucking early. Yep. I was an idiot. My hair appointment was at 2 o'clock. She had it all wrong. So we could have slept <laughs> in, and then we were going to go to... We did. We went to Fred again mm-hmm. that night, so we were fucking exhausted. We were pre-gaming. Mm-hmm. We're drinking fucking vodka, and we're like... This isn't going to work. This Ripping isn't going to do shots alone is just not happening with no, the vodka. because we were falling asleep. Yeah. So what did we do? Grabbed an oxy shred. Dude. It, put it in the vodka. It's the best. <laughs> I don't understand why more people don't do it. It's the best fucking pregame. Because it's way better than any other one because it's got flavors. Dude, yeah. They've got a gummy fucking snake. There's mm. peach rings. There's bu- Is that Bahama Mama one? This or one Bahama? is the guava paradise. Dude, there's a million flavors and there's no sugar. Zero. And guess how many calories? Zero. No fucking way. Mm-hmm. No fucking Can't way. Can't say that with those other guys. No, dude. And and it gets you all fucking jazzed up and you're getting drunk at the same time and it tastes good. And I'm holding this thing right now. Not going to lie. This grip is pretty suave. Dude, I can <laughs> fuck this can. Yeah, I really like it. I right? actually really do. It feels really fucking cool. It does. No, but for real, it's the best. It's the best pregame mixer. 
They got it right here. Good vibes. Yeah, it is, man. Good vibes. Get you get you going. Mix it with some alcohol. It's like the perfect thing ever. How are we going to tell them how to get it? Uh, I think we're going to have to tell them how to get it. And I think they can get it right on Amazon. You can. You can get Oxy Shred no, on Amazon. No, I know. <laughs> Um, you, and you could win a year supply. You can try these drinks on Amazon. If you leave a review, it's the most creative review wins a year supply. Dude, that's so easy. You guys are creative. You're the PBC. You could have fun with that shit. This is like our little trick where we prank people. Let's just get you some get free creative. stuff. <laughs> For a fucking year, man, I would actually, I actually might enter. Dude, not get, fair. We don't have a year. You better hurry up. Yeah, hurry up now. But like I said, it's the best fucking pregame mixer ever. If you want to get fucked up and energy, Oxy Shred. You can get it at your door in two days. You've got Prime. Yeah. Also, if you're not a drinker, just chug one of these before a Friday game concert. Win, win, is. win. Winning. Go get the shit on Amazon now. Let's get back to the episode. Oxy Shred. They oh. went through. So I wrote the size six thing in, I think, 2006 as a joke. Okay. Didn't, didn't hit. I never made another rape joke about it. And for context, I was just, <laughs> there was a court case in Australia where a judge, like, literally said, like, a rape couldn't happen because you can't take size six, six skinny jeans off without consent. I was trying to make a play on what he said. Bad joke. Didn't, didn't work. Mm. 2006. No one's had a word about it. Yeah. 2010 comes. We do the blackout tour. And this group went back and looked oh. at everything I'd ever written. And they're like, see what he wrote? Look oh. at this. And they connected it with the blackout tour. But it was before. Mm. It was four years before the blackout tour. I you didn't even remember the blog. And literally to this day people will still use that blog i and, see that video a lot yeah and the video yeah. they edited so the she she asked me about it i go do you know the context of where that's from which she didn't it's the blog i'm were like you, you were smart enough to ask that back yeah. then and they just she just cut it mm. and i'm like i was using what they said it you can say and then she's like do you um condone rape obviously i don't i think it's what i said she's like do you realize how offensive it is i'm like i obviously don't because if I did, I would have never written it. Like yeah. I was trying to make people laugh. And you can say, it's not funny. I'm fine with that. I won't write again. But there's no one who read that in real time is like, he's being pro-rape. It's crazy. It's so ripped out. But now, <laughs> on top of everything, like I saw an article the other day. It's like, just Dave is pro-rape. Dave says this word. It's like, you're everything's so fucking out of context. Yeah, I mean... It's just crazy people think you're walking around He's being nuts. this like, yeah. monster and everyone yeah. at the office is just like, what's up, Dave? You're right. a monster. And there's yeah. not one person I've interacted with in 20 years. And even those parties, thank God, like we never, we were so strict when you asked what we do. Like mm -hmm. we would only allow girls to dance on stage. No guys, no nothing. But girls would like kill to get on stage. Yeah. That was Yeah, it. that was, yeah. To go on and like, you have you, you, you guys met Elio, my buddy? I don't know. No, is Elio your buddy from growing up? Yes. He is? Yeah, and he does stuff with here. He's a big dude. He's like, I don't know, six-something bunch. Of, he came to one of them, and I was like, he's like, what do you want me to do? He's like, manage the gate over mm -hmm. on the side where girls, because girl, girls would come up, you get a song, you go around and go back into the crowd, and girls just keep going. He got steamrolled. Like, the girl, he <laughs> threw the gate, knocked him over. But we were, I was so, like, serious about don't make girls uncomfortable. Like they're, this is the party. And, and yeah. we never, we did that forever. No complaints. Like there's yeah. never no girl who, woman who's ever worked here. Nothing, but no. it is what it is. So I come with that, but yeah, the blackout tour to answer your question, there started to be a lot more EDM parties. Mm. So there wasn't a much to go around and our insurance was going through the fucking roof <laughs> because for that to get insured. And it just, as fast as it came, it kind of like, disappeared yeah so we were killing it we would do you know how, how much money were you yeah, making, were you making money i thought i was gonna uh, yeah i was making <laughs> 250 grand a night no oh, shit. clearing like 250 grand a night what yeah, that's like, a lot and it was just you got suits. like it was just was, us there was no like nobody in the middle we were wow. we were that's crazy renting the facilities ourselves. so we'd okay. be like hey dcu center how much does it cost to rent and they'd be like oh it's like 250 grand we're like here you go and then we charge 50 bucks a ticket and have like 5,000 people in there or something. But I wasn't taking the money and like in the pocket, like those lasers and shit, they were ours. Yeah. Like we were rebuying. There's a lot of money that yeah. like goes into that. So yeah. in the end, we probably were about break even on yeah. that whole yeah. thing. But when the money came in, that's when we hired Dan. Kevin is like, oh, we have money. We can we hire can people. Guys. Oh, okay. So that kind of was like how we got, but it disappeared as quick as it came. Yeah. When did you like really start making money off of Barstool? Not like you, but as as a 2010 ish, 
is when it's like, okay, I'll be able to do this as a living. Mm-hmm. Um, 2016 is when we sold half of it to Chernin and, and we were doing good, really good, way better than I ever thought. Um, I was probably like making about 2 million a year in 2016. Um, but the sale was the first time is like, holy shit. I actually have like, I think I got $5 million in, to myself in that sale. Oh shit. Was yeah. giving up ever an option when things were tough? You ever think I got about a job it? for, because, uh, we, I had no money. I was living in my in-laws house and, and we just like, we couldn't afford anything. And it was a while. And I felt bad. I felt bad for Renee at the time. It's like, I, I got to get a job. Yeah. So you just keep saying, she, I'm good she for she it. Just buy a $400 yeah. bathing suit. Yeah. She was like, we got to do something. So I got a sales job. I went in and I went home at lunch and never went back. I'm like, I, I think Barcel can work. But it can't work see if, it if I'm doing something. It yeah. needs all my attention. Yeah. Um. And she was very good in in like allowing that to continue. Yeah, she's a writer. Yeah, yeah. big time. Big and you time. guys are still friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. Yep. Like best friends. Well, that's major. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think people know that either. Yeah. Very good friends. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That speaks volumes. Too. I mean, she's yeah. been. She was. You know, through the entire. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. So, yeah. All the shit. Major years. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and then um, bars. Sorry. No, you're good. I just want to bring it back to music for a second. Um, from from the EDM music, I'd like to say my what favorite I was EDM music. It's just EDM. We, yeah, we've all been that, saying yeah, it. we're gonna get electric shit on. dance music. Music. Well, I, I'm not a fan of EDM. Like, <laughs> but what I am a fan of, two, two of my favorite things you've done is in the rap community. Um, I don't know if you know, but we are huge Malfi fans. Oh, and the Malfi oh video. God. And that is my favorite Dude, thing we, of all we time. We were obsessed with Malfi. <laughs> and then when I when we put it together, I was like, that's, I work here. That's Dave in the video. We were like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's we, uh, he's the boss. The, the, the Puff video there. Yeah, it's a great Boston song. Life. It's a great song. Yeah, yeah. I, what, I don't know what happened to him. We think Dude. he's dead. Oh. Yeah, or... We also heard that he owes a lot of people a lot of money in so Boston, hiding. so we went down to Atlanta or something. Interesting. So we tried to find him. We I want to sign him. We I tried to sign him. <laughs> like, of course, you did. we did. We did. Um, like Sam Adams blew up in a large part with yeah. our thing. I was yeah. like, oh, we can do this. I listened to it. He was fucking awesome. Um, it's so good, man. Yeah, twisted you know and lighted. Are, I know all yeah, twist and light. It's the yeah. song. Yeah. yeah, so good. Well, who's the guy I got? You guys are gonna laugh. I had a huge fight with him. I'm sure you guys are fans of his. He used to wear like a turtle backpack, I think. Oh, oh new he, boys? No, he maybe dated. They, they, no. What the turtle fuck backpack, is that guy? Turtle backpack. No, that Marbles wore that. But um, who is this rapper? Oh, I'm dying to know. It's like he told me to stay out of Connecticut. <laughs> what, he fucking, like, Connecticut? Fuck me up or something. <laughs> you know what happened? When we did shit with Sam Adams, people got mad bad like the rapper community <laughs> like fuck him he doesn't deserve the publicity it's like rap wars like i don't give a fuck like we're just trying to like i'm not <laughs> some yeah, like, I'm, rap wars. Yeah, like and it was so stay out of connecticut <laughs> we were putting together like the lineup when we went to sam adams and we go to different cities and be like do you guys want to open and they're like i'm not fucking open for him i'm bigger than him it's like I, or, whatever Shit, i don't care you, you live in connecticut what the hell was this <laughs> guy's name <laughs> Yeah, is it this guy? This, no, that's Sam. No, that's Sammy Adams. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Wow, Wait, look so, at you two goons. <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Fun. That's yeah. so crazy. Wait, so what made you stop really getting involved with music? Because it seems agents. like for- uh, The worst. Yeah. The is worst. Is hate agents? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just hate agents in general, but mm. they're the fucking worst worst. So it, with music- like the bigger it is, it's like you, you the, all the risk is on the promoter mm. and there's not much upside, but it really fell apart um, with these guys, Chitty Bang. Um, oh, Chitty Bang. Yeah. Chitty bang. Sp- they're on the list. They're yeah. on the list. <laughs> they were supposed to do a show for us <laughs> in uh, Providence and they couldn't make it from New York to Providence in a day. And it. And they get they paid regardless, up. right? They want to. I lost my mind. I lost my mind dealing with that. I I couldn't do so. It just it. it I hated it. Mm. Hated it. How do you yeah. feel about um, Barstool backstage? They're trying to build that up right now. Just still going. Yeah, mm. we've had a million different iterations of music. We used yeah. to have like a music player. Mm. Um, this kid Tommy Zolo, Tommy Lights. Uh, <laughs> he 
used to wear an ass. <laughs> See if you can pull up a picture of Tommy Lights. All right, guys, quick commercial break for Kajabi. So one of the biggest challenges as a creator is making enough uh, to earn a living doing what you love. Kajabi makes it easy and to diversify your revenue, build your own brand and turn your audience into customers, which is huge because we got to make money off this. Simply must. Kajabi is the ultimate all in one platform that helps creators and entrepreneurs build successful online businesses by unlocking predictable reoccurring re revenue. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm going to be you okay. Got it, baby. They provide a one stop shop to turn your skills, passions and experiences into enriching online courses, exclusive membership sites, thriving communities, personalized coaching, subscription podcasts, and more. Literally whatever you need, Kajabi is going to be there to do it for you. It's all underpinned by uh, robust analytics, marketing tools, third-party integrations, and easy payment options. So you don't need a huge audience to make a sustainable income. You don't need to already be huge. There are thousands of creators on Kajabi making six and seven figures with less than 50,000 followers. That's a micro. That's insane. We've got to get on this app. Try Kajabi and join the creators and entrepreneurs who have earned over $6 billion. So right now, Kajabi is offering a 30-day free trial to start your own business. If you go to kajabi.com slash Bree, that's K-A-J-A-B-I dot com slash Bree. Go to kajabi.com slash Bree to earn more doing what you love. Got to make money off this. Let's get back to the episode. <laughs> he manages some band. Is Elefante like a thing? Mm -hmm. a, a restaurant? Like the rest? He's band. He's a DJ. Yeah, oh, he's, oh. he manages that person, or he used to. But Tommy Lights used to uh, work the light system for us in the day. I knew it wasn't his last name. It was a nickname. Tommy <laughs> Lights. Lights. Tommy yeah. Lights. Yeah. And we, he'd have to wear like an astronaut suit. <laughs> so he'd just like uh, an astronaut suit. Doing and he'd learn this like weird fucking system. There, I, I hope there's a picture of Tommy Lights. <laughs> yeah. He's never existed. To put Tom Zolo, see if that comes in. C O L L O Barso Sports. Yeah. What was. happened to him? He just he he, he left. He was like a Harvard guy. He he still a stayed Harvard in guy? music. Yeah, he's a little autistic actually. Mm. I feel a lot of people the good ones here are. are autistic. Yeah, we were yeah. Uh, like an a autistic bunch. breeding ground for weirdos. Yeah, yeah. still am kind of. Yeah, it is a bunch of nerds, which people don't we, really realize. Mm. We, we yeah. just have weird. Anyone that does this job has got to be weird. Yeah, a hundred percent. I got a shirt that says "Monetizing Misfits" since two thousand and eight. Yeah, that makes sense. It's yeah. almost like I always would say, like people when we sold, it's like, "What is your vision?" It's like kind of look at it like a Saturday Night Live. Like mm. bring in a cast. If someone leaves your place, but the core is there. If you look at Saturday Night Live, they had, I mean, all sorts of. Like, it's wackos. Oh, yeah. wackos. Yeah. You have to be a little bit weird. How do you yeah. feel when Saturday Night Live makes a sketch about the company? What does that happen? Twice? Tom, Twice, I Tommy, think. Tommy, and, I don't and then the uh, maybe it was just once. <laughs> the Tommy one was crazy, funny. I mean, I'm sure it was crazier for Tommy, but I thought that was great. That I can't tell if that's him or not. Must be. He looks like he's wearing the bottom of the suit. He's got the lights. <laughs> yeah. Here are my lights. <laughs> yeah. When people say Solo is just a light guy laughing, Tommy Lights is David Call him save a company more than anybody will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is, Zola, man. Well, yeah. the, second, the second rap thing I wanted to bring up was um, I'm a huge fan of Rise Page Views Rise. We know I, every word. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. underrated. It, it is. really is. Dude, it, it's, it's produced so funny by Mike when you're Stud. in the studio and you're, it's <laughs> like so bad the way you're like flowing and you're like, yeah. this, dude, I just <laughs> fucked that up, man. Like, dude, let me run it back. Let me run it back. And he's so serious. I was very <laughs> serious about it. cracking up in it, the back. Even people who don't like me, I remember like one of the nicest things Caleb ever said to me like he just pulled me aside ram he's like i gotta tell you rise <laughs> page views rise like stands the test of time it's like it's grown on me <laughs> it's like we kind of thought it was like funny at first but it's like kind of still bangs later it's on the playlist. so much better than kevin's <laughs> no, kevin's, old, is so kevin's, bad. kevin's is like uh american <laughs> idol like rated g like mine's a <laughs> mine's a diss track i don't know what kevin was so doing. people don't know it's um basically kevin versus dave well, they were started <laughs> as tico texas tico, oh, yeah remember right. we went down this rabbit hole yeah. yes <laughs> we couldn't figure out why it started <laughs> we couldn't find the tico one it, it it started because kevin wrote kevin clancy is a blogger wrote a blog about big sean <laughs> And trashing, I think, Big Sean for breaking up with Ariana Grande, if I recall. Tico Texas, a rapper in Houston who fucking loves Big Sean, <laughs> went She's off. Like Big Sean stalker. Went <laughs> off on Kevin. <laughs> Calling like baseball fans, which she calls white people, like you fucking. And I was in Italy at the mm -hmm. time. And well, I started yeah. tweeting in Italian, just like, <laughs> I have your back, Tico. Like, if you want me to pay for a studio to write a song, I will. And she wrote. A uh, diss track on Kevin. Kevin then 
responded by writing a diss track on Tico, but the second half of the diss track was about me. So it's like, <laughs> fuck it, I'll write one. So I wrote a diss track, and that that's where it all came from. And Mike Stud and produced it, yeah. and then, uh, and then you guys Studs went to producer. a club and yeah, you yeah, played, they it. played it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so funny. You're in all these like silly scenarios, but you're very serious yeah, for them I all. I take them very serious. Yeah, you're just the like The craziest there. thing, too, is like, uh, this was on purpose, but not the craziest. That logo is my chest hair. No shit. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> what? Like, if you do da- uh, do and then do chest hair, probably it'll come up because I've talked about it. This is your, the the, the wings phoenix fire. rising is quite literally my chest hair. Dude, what? it's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. It is. It's literally the same thing. It's crazy. <laughs> Look at this tentacle. Isn't that wild? Oh, God. Wow. Never know more great. you know. Dude, and then you ended up hiring Tico, Texas. Yeah. And yeah. firing Tico, Texas. Have you ever seen when I've gone to gone to see her perform at South by Southwest? No. You miss that. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> arguably the craziest thing. When was that? So I was like, hey, I'll come see you perform. She's like, all right, well, we're performing at South South by Southwest. She was not. She was off Broadway, I would say, is the way I would describe it. So me and Gaz went down. I get dressed in this, like, classic Texas cowboy hat, big jeans, boots. She gives us the address. Oh, my God. Yeah. We walk into this house. She didn't tell anybody we were coming. It was a house? It was, I don't know what was going on in that house, but me and Gaz, without introduction, we walk in like that. It was quite wild. It was, and then we went to her show live. Uh, she lost her voice. Oh like, my God. This is, a, I became friends with all these guys. Is eight you guys show me dancing with these guys, though. It's like, oh, dude. I had one of them, one of them, some girls was braiding my hair. It was like, oh, yeah, there's a whole. We documented the whole thing. Oh, it's awesome. actually the most uncomfortable. Tico, Texas made me the most uncomfortable anybody's ever made me. Me too. <laughs> I mean, she's made out with us, like, unwillingly. Yeah. <laughs> her brother? Dude, yeah, her brother. Oh, my problem. God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Her brother. No, do you want to know how fucking crazy this is? Her brother was like, um, oh, gave, this is crazy. took our phones and was like, can I add you guys on Instagram? Went into our Instagrams, added himself secretly to our close friend stories. Didn't tell us. One day, we're, like, looking at our close friends, and we're like, this motherfucker added himself to be on it. Weeks later, this is an invasion it, yeah. of privacy. That's crazy. Like, we could have been naked. Posted on Instagram. Naked for our friends. I don't you know. You don't do that. that no, way. I don't no, do that. Like, yeah. like, like, Could have done anything. Yeah, crazy. I. <laughs> oh, fuck. Do we need headphones? I can, yeah, I can go the audio. Tico, <sighs> I, I don't know if it's in there. <laughs> Just speed it up, maybe a little bit. There you go. Gotta get the Mary Jago. Did you, did you smoke with her? Of course, we were there. It's Monster the first time Club. I met her. This is the first time you met her? Yeah. <laughs> we had no idea what we were walking into when we did this. See, I can get my hair breaking. <laughs> like what the fuck's going on? Just click it. <laughs> there we there go. go. <laughs> this was her concert? Yeah. No, well, she she went and did like a concert. <laughs> oh, that. nice job. Dude, yeah. you look absolutely <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> We, the concert was later that night. Um, <laughs> we were there all day. It was fucking crazy. This is the most like let loose I've ever seen you. Well, yeah, it's like uh, yeah, it's your fucking oh, magic. Oh my god! Oh god! This Holy is fucking shit. awesome, dude. We've got to look back at these old videos, Grace. I thought I've seen everything. I'm lost in Texas. They stole my Xbox, but didn't touch my necklace. But they stole oh. this dollar. I put it in my pocket. Nigga, it's been on the floor all day. Nigga, I ain't got no... Oh, they're they they spitting. You gotta fuck with me. Free ride with the ass in one move. Hey! Ah! Oh, this is epic. So, uh, we went to a barbecue in Texas. 200, 300 white people mm-hmm. in line. <laughs> it's like a popular place. That's why he picked it. Tico walks in. She goes, we're just going to cut. I'm like, no, no. fucking Tico. <laughs> no we're not cutting. Tico. 
I'm in that outfit. She's the only <laughs> black person there. It's like, what do you mean we're cutting? She goes, I don't wait in lines. I'm oh, like, fucking Tico, God. please, please don't. Can please, can we not? She just try, walks right into the front of the line, fucking cut. It was, <laughs> oh, and my she's my calling. I, crying. I was like, not there. She's calling me on the phone, being like, come on, we're cutting. I'm like, please stop. <laughs> please stop. Please stop. Really don't want in that hand. <laughs> we're cutting. <laughs> and we went in a car. This little Christian old lady <laughs> was. The Uber driver playing literally Christian music. Tico <laughs> takes her fucking aux cord, oh, jams God. it into her music, <laughs> oh, which is God. so loud in every word. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. But, I mean, I love Tico, but Tico, but Tico is Tico's eccentric. A wild She's woman. electric. <laughs> Never met anyone in my life like Tico. She doesn't believe in winging lunch. Yeah, that's she insane. Leaves you speechless. She yeah. does every time. Man. I mean, I truly like her, but she she is. She's got. Who doesn't heart. believe in waiting in lines? She's like, <laughs> I don't wait in lines. She but, well, thinks she is Big Sean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like genuinely. I don't wait in lines. Such a line. <laughs> that's so awesome. But her performance was. If you can find it in the thing, it, it is. We've got to go to a Tico show. We got to go shocking. to a Tico show. Quite shocking. Yeah, she like she gets down and dirty. It it. Pops a titty <laughs> out every you'll once in a while. Watch the performance. It was uh, <laughs> it was quite shocking. Yeah, sure. Oh, this is it. I no, no, that's not that's not her. But that is the place she performed at. Oh, let's go, Tico. So you went to her show. You supported. Of course, her. I did. I love that you guys had never met. And you just you just ripped that and that outfit, and you just had fun with it. <laughs> Big time. Two thousand sixteen. <laughs> she was crying at one point because I I pitched in like I'm like here here's some couple hundred bucks to buy like booze and whatever you want hysterically crying oh, geez, she was no. not because she was happy oh because she thought the money should go to her <laughs> Are you yeah, yeah. i was like oh tico that's yeah. sweet i was like was i crying. don't know what to do it's like i'm just trying to help out she's like yeah but you're my connect like why are you giving it's like i don't it's like i'm walking she i don't wanted know. her to yeah. get the money that's yeah. crazy <laughs> she's, she's got star mentality yeah. dude she does man she's a hustler i fucking love tico oh, oh this shit. is, this is the performance oh we gotta check this out. I, I gotta hear it by the way this is what she told me she was performing south by southwest this was okay the performance <laughs> Look at you, front row. <laughs> yeah, I think she performed Rise Pay. Uh, no, the Ke fuck Kevin Clancy song. <laughs> yeah, numbers never lie. <laughs> <laughs> you getting this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a proud father. <laughs> He's uh, letting loose cowboy. <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is epic. It's literally from zero oh, wow. people. That is That's awesome. fucking awesome. I didn't know any of this existed. Oh, yeah. Bring that D back. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Oh, speaking of which, mm. we're thinking about writing a rap song. Oh, would yeah. you ever Zach said you feature? produce it. Would you? Would you feature? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, Zach, huh? I actually asked Zach. He said he would bring his studio and put like a crazy producer on it if we Jay. wanted a DP on it. Let's make some money off this thing. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> DP, BL, and GO. Let's go. Let's run it back. A okay. rap song. Yeah. yeah. Is it like a diss or just a rap? I think it a should be a rap. Christmas song because okay. we could play it every oh, yeah. year. And you, are you, I, can you, is it? Do you have enough time to do that? Uh, probably not. Or a yeah. holiday song, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, no, I don't. That wasn't what I meant. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, Christmas is around the corner. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know. If but, you, you know. do a Christmas song, I can, throw, I can do a quick, like, oh, yeah, Hanukkah you come song in for, just yeah. to make it yeah. a holiday so everyone song. Listens, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to make money right, off yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. You do it for free? Yeah, of course. Pro bono? Yeah, yeah, pro bono. Okay. Oh, thank God. Wow, that's a good boss right there. <laughs> this is huge. All right, we have a game we want to play with you. Yes. Okay. Okay, it's just, it's gun to the head. Okay. Yeah. It's called Gun to the Head. So basically, Gun to the Head, which one would you pick? Okay. I got old-fashioned paper and pen. You're going to start it, right? Yep. Okay. All right. It's going to be rapid fire. Okay. Try not to think about it. Okay. Pats or Celtics? Pats. Uh, Brady or Swift? Brady. Brody or Chicken? What? Your dog's name is Brody? Yeah. Your girlfriend's name's Chicken? Oh, Brody. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza or Nooners? Nooners. Mom or Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Uh, Nantucket or Miami? Nantucket. Yes. Josh or Bree? Bree. Austin or Frankie? Ooh, tough one. Austin. Nice. He's the new guy. Yeah. College football or NFL? NFL. Uh, speak now or reputation? Reputation. See, I, 
I don't have all of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, vodka or tequila? Vodka. You want to? Just, you can continue. Okay, a plan Brie or call her daddy. Plan Brie, you're with us now. Nice. Uh, Molly or cocaine? <laughs> Ecstasy. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, fame or fortune? Fortune. Ass or tits? Ass. Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds? Gosling. Friends or The Office? Pfft, office. <laughs> Thank um, God. Last one. <laughs> sex, money, or bitches? Got to pick one. Sex, money, or bitches? Well, money. All right. Because then you get the other two. Yeah. yeah. So like, that's really like if you have one. <laughs> With money comes sex yeah, and bitches. Sex, like, money. Sex and bitches are the same thing. What is the rap lyric? Yeah, sex, sex, money. Pussy, money, weed? Oh, pussy, money, weed. Pussy, money, weed. Pussy, money, money weed. Money, Sam. Well, that's, that's like ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's like if you have one wish. Imagine what would be it's like, like weed. more wishes. Yeah, yeah. Just weed. Yeah, yeah, money, bitches, <laughs> weed. <laughs> All right, that's yeah. DP, man. All right. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. We went down memory easy. lane. That was great. That was great. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the story. We of only Pornhub. got to 2010. I know. Yeah, basically. That's, but it's that's crazy. stuff that people don't know. No, yeah. I know. You know. And I forget half the shit. It's crazy. That yeah. A lot of people, most people who know Barcelona have no idea. 99% yeah. of the stuff. That I didn't happened. know half that shit. I know. Yeah. And we, we during COVID, we watched everything. Yeah. yeah I was like, I have <laughs> yeah. to study if we're going to work here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, do the docs are a good way to catch up. They did a good job with the, yeah. on, on all the, like there's a Tico Texas doc. Yeah. That, those documentaries are great. Yeah. They, they are pretty, pretty good story down memory lane. Yeah. I actually, I just want to run a scenario by you real quick. Just say if you would uh, do it. Um, it's your spring semester of your junior year. A media company offers you a full-time job at their company. But in order to take it, you have to drop out and move to New York. Would you do it? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. All right. What about this one? That's you, what she did. That's what I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This, I mean. This, Nothing to do with that. This stuff. one might not pertain to me. <laughs> uh, your best friend gets a job in New York and asks you to also drop out of school and join them. You don't have a job or a plan lined up. But uh, yeah, you don't have a job or a plan lined up when you get there. Do you take the gamble? Do you bet on yourself? <laughs> yeah, well, O'Malley, you you want without no, now that I know you, I would say yes. If I didn't know you, if you're a normal person, I would have said no. Yeah. Would like, you do it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, and because then because you guys came to us when like we we're fairly well. Like it, it, we're a spot now. If you believe you're talented, you'll be successful. Like mm -hmm, the yeah. platform's all there, and it's it's a cheat code, I think, to get there. So, and yeah. um, a follow up question that I really need to know. How many people do you consider your best friend? Yeah, this is a good question. I really How many friends do you have? Like best friends? Pro, it's still my high school friends. That's like a good huge, guy. Yeah. Like Gaz <laughs> is definitely one of my good friends. I've known him now for like 20 years. But it, most, like Elio is, but it, it's my high school friends. Nice. Like we, one of my friends got married in Italy. That's why I was there oh, recently. That's there, yeah. It was all high school friends. Oh, Yeah, yeah. Wow. like awesome. the wedding party was just our high school friends. Was Sick. it like getting back together with everyone? Yeah, it's like you don't miss a beat. Yeah. 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 Would you go to your reunion? We went to one early, you but did. it's like we don't care about any. No disrespect, to Ambia. We like the people we care about is the ones we'll You're see. Friends, see them anyways, yeah, right? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And Gaz is from growing up, or how'd you guys meet? No, he knew Renee. Oh, oh okay. shit! Yeah, so he got a job. Uh, I don't want to go too long, but he he was working for his dad. Didn't want to work for his dad. He's like, hey, I'll sell t-shirts for you outside of Fenway. I bought a bunch of t-shirts. He went there. You need a permit. So he couldn't mm. do it. He mm. came back and he's been stuck with me ever since. Mm. The story of gas. Yeah, story, story of gas. Gas. Sneak sneak in in there. In yeah, DB, yeah, in Tico, yeah, Texas. Yeah, exactly. Well, well thanks for coming on. Thanks, of course. DB. Planet Bree. He's on Planet Bree. Planet Bree. <laughs> Planet Bree. <laughs> All right. There we go. Thanks, guys. This was good. Yep. See you guys. <laughs>